Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Another nice sunny day at our Santa Cruz beaches with temperatures in the mid 70s up in the Santa Cruz mountains. Lots of 80s, upper 80s for our warmest spots of Ben Lomond and Boulder Creek, but not too hot for this time of year. We'll go inland and you can see temperatures cool near the coast. Watsonville, Prunedale had difficulty warming up and then the sun came out warm near 70, Aroma 77. And then Gilroy, Morgan Hill, as we expected, mid 90s. And that was really our warmest spot today. Then down in Hollister and in the Hollister Valley, only some low 80s. Down the Salinas Valley near 80 degrees, so not too bad there. King City, a little toasty though at 88 degrees this afternoon once those morning clouds cleared out. And on the peninsula, Marina and South stuck under those low clouds for a majority of the day, hence all of those 61 degree high temperatures. Monterey and Carmel, 63 and warmer down at Big Sur, a nice 80 degrees. Here are those beachgoers enjoying 64 degrees right now, so actually more comfortable out there than it was last night at this time. They're still seeing sunshine, but see the marine layer in the distance and winds are going to be picking up. In fact, some areas already cooling down. You can see Carmel, Moss Landing, Sand City, 60 degrees right now, and then inland near 80 degrees. So actually a pleasant evening for our inland communities for tonight. You can see a little warmer there than it was last night. Soledad, King City, about six and seven degrees warmer, as well as Carmel Valley, and then along the coast, very similar to where you were yesterday. Gilroy, you're feeling a little cooler though, a little breezier. So winds are going to be picking up the next couple of days. Looks like we could see gusts around 30 miles per hour in the afternoons the next few days. Fortunately, that's fire fuel as well, so be extra cautious in the areas for the next couple of days. And here you can see the satellite from this earlier afternoon where, yes, sunshine did come the way from the northern parts of the Monterey Bay, but towards the south, stuck under those clouds, and now they are returning in these evening hours. So looks like a nice evening inland, but near the coast, you're going to want some layers. These temperatures are going to be in the mid-50s to maybe some low 60s at the coast as that marine layer returns and the winds pick up. Taking a look at the relative humidity across the state's still dry and then look at that 10% in Fresno. So very dangerous for those fire conditions. Temperatures still over 100 degrees for Redding, Fresno, Bakersfield, Palm Springs. And tomorrow looks like another hot one with temperatures in the mid uh, 105 degrees or so. For us for night, we're going to be seeing 50s, maybe some 40s. And then for tomorrow afternoon, getting up and similar ranges, 60s, maybe some low 60s for the South Monterey Bay, North Monterey Bay, seeing some mid 70s and inland temperatures topping off in the low 90s once again. So again, kind of a carbon copy forecast for this area with those morning low clouds, afternoon sunshine, kind of indicating a warming trend as we go into next weekend, which would be nice for beachgoers. Yeah. Maybe it would hold off on the fog, but you know, sometimes gets warmer inland and then more fog near the coast. So we'll be watching that. But as for now, 80s for a majority of inland temperatures, that's pretty good this time of year. For sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gina.